kind of not working. <laughs> While Kate was on the set, Amy and I went for a walk down to the beach at Santa Monica. Has she really upset you today? Yeah, I've been angry with her today. I don't think it's right that he should still be photographed all the time, really. They're both quite strong-willed. But it annoys me more than upsets me that she, do she doesn't seem to learn still from certain situations. The good one. Oh, yeah. Hey. You That's are good. Oh, what a good boy. Yeah. Do you think Kate's been strong? Yeah. Don't you? Well, I do, yeah. I mean, uh, have you been surprised by how strong she's been? Yeah, I am, really. Because it had been like me when I was young, I would have been in floods of tears all the time. I mean, it has affected me quite hard, I suppose, really. You feel quite numb with it to start off with. Well, that's but, what yeah. I thought. It's, it's, it's such a tragedy. You, you, you're surprised at how... How yeah, but she's Kate. quite private, though, isn't she? In a lot of ways. I think if she's upset, really upset in front of me, that would even make me even worse. So I think we all try to be strong, and then that's their way of dealing with it, I think. It's not going to change anything, is it? Later that day, we heard there was another story in the papers, this time revealing Kate had a new boyfriend. It was the teenager she'd met at the Max Power event. Amy still hoped Kate and Dwight would get back together for the sake of their baby, and she obviously hated the idea of her daughter seeing a 19-year-old. So what is the story in the sun today? I'm not saying it, so don't even go there, Richard. All right? Don't even bother. Sorry, I know you're pissed off. Yeah, it was the end of the shoot in LA. Kate and her mum weren't talking to each other, and I wanted to hear Kate's side of the story. As we left the studio, I tried filming her. You are a nosy man, aren't you, Richard? Well, it's my job to be inquisitive. I bet. Well, why is it you don't like being interviewed? I do like in being interviewed, but you always ask me at the wrong times. You've had all day to ask me questions, and you've pissed off. And that's not really true, is it? It is true. I actually left today because Dave suggested it would be a good thing that people weren't around you. OK, no, I'm just saying, no, I do like being into you, but you do ask me at the wrong times, all the time. Well, I think there's never a good time. Never is always a good time, Richard. Well, then now should be a good time. OK, well, ask me the questions and start arguing. <laughs> Bloody hell. So I asked Kate about her new boyfriend. I, I like my cuddles, I need my cuddles now at the moment, and that's what he does for me. And like, if I'm happy, then that's all what should matter, really. Do you approve of that? I hope she's on the pill. After this, Amy had a go at Kate for overexposing Harvey in the newspapers. I don't want him exploited separately on his own. Yeah, how will he be? Well, you don't want him in well, the that's the way. No, I don't, but what I'm saying is... If I'm in a cafe or something, as I say, holding him or on holiday, someone's going to take a picture of him and go and sell it. So, what's the difference of me doing nice pictures and selling them Or making it money out of him, then. Well, someone else is going to. No, but you should Yeah, but someone money. else is going to. I'm not making money out of him. That's what I mean. Well, I'm not. I don't do it deliberately, do I? Well, I hope not. Do you really think I'm like that? No, but I well, hope then. not. He's going to be more in the public eye than anything now because of his condition. People are going to watch us like a hawk. Yeah. And I'm telling you that now. It's not as if he's normal now, is it? Because they think I'm a freak of nature. And now he's blind. They're going to think, <coughs> you know, how am I going to cope? And they'll just be watching like a hawk. You know they will.
Kate's life was about to take another dramatic twist. It's just my finger. I keep hiding it because it's so swollen. I don't know what I've done to it. That was just before Harvey was born. It didn't seem like a big deal at the time. Now back from America, Kate had the lump removed. I'm so tempted to take them out myself. Can't be hard just to pull the stitches out, can it? No, wait. When are you meant to have them out? Tomorrow, but I can't. I'm too busy. So I've got to wait another week, but I'm worried that they might... Did they take a lump out or something? Yeah, they showed me it. But they said in all the years they've been doing like hand stuff and whatever, he has no idea what it is. So they've sent it away to find out. But a few days later, the results were back. With the press after her, Jordan fled the country to Ayanapa in Cyprus. With her and Harvey was new boyfriend, Matt, a boy racer from Stockport who worked in a tanning salon. Hello to Tricky Dicky. Set. All right, Tricky Dicky, with your speedos. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was young and confident. It's all come as a bit of a shock to me and all my mates and my family, I suppose, but you know, it's, uh, it's a good shot, really, because I found, at the end of the day, no matter who she is, I've still found someone that I care about a lot and that I love, and uh, it's good. I'd safely say I've never seen her cry, ever, and there's not many people that could go through the amount of stuff that she's been through the last couple of months without showing a bit of emotion, but she just, I think she keeps strong for this little guy. She's a very strong person, isn't she? So, as you know, that tricky dicky. That night, Kate told me her mum had refused to meet Matt. I just can't be bothered with the rouse, to be honest. Look, you don't want to see me happy. Yeah, it's not, it's like I said before. The thing is, I'm never going to get back with Dwight, so she's got to get that out of head. She wants you to be happy, doesn't she? It's just like any mum, I suppose they want... She's worried about because she's been hurt in the past, that's all it is. Hello. Which is fair enough. Isn't it? Hello. Oh. I asked Matt if he and Kate would be together forever. Yeah. I had to admire his optimism. After the meal, Kate took a swipe at Victoria Beckham. Look, Portion Bex's daughter will be born as an order tomorrow, <coughs> so if I'm not a cesarean. No, I'm not saying anything, but maybe she should try something natural for once, say. Eh? Be a real woman. Then we went for a walk through the clubbing district 